President McKinley has been assassinated. God damn it. Every time the president dies, we get stuck with some turd of a vice president. Who is it now? Uh, Theodore Roosevelt? Oh, Theodore. That's <laughs> good, right? Listen up, pussies! I'm in charge now, and if any of you have a problem with that, you can't talk to my big stick. Or the slightly smaller one. <laughs> dick joke. Hot dog, me. Oh. Ugh. There's a hair in here. It gets grosser. Keep going. <sighs> we need to inspect meat. All food. Drugs, too. Smile. OK. Close up. One this way. That's great stuff, Mr. Roosevelt. Hey, hand me that thing, will ya? Football is entirely too dangerous. I demand we change the rules! Oh, another one. Spike! <laughs> That's good stuff. Hey, we should finally get around to doing this crazy Panama Canal plan. Just cut a big fucking hole right through the middle. Bam! Open trade. I don't know about this deal. Oh, I don't know about you. Who the heck are you anyway? Pulitzer, sir. Joseph Pulitzer. A name no one will hear of ever, ever again. Out of here. Hey, hold that. Yes, sir. Ooh, nice desk. All right, next order of business. Minimize the power of big business and all that. But sir, I thought you were a Republican. Oh, I am. You see, Republicans love big government during this period of time. You see, America's weird. Excuse me one moment. Hey, Russia, Japan, cool it, will ya? Hug it out. I said hug. Very good. Tighter. That's nice. All right, now let's pose for a picture. Hey, where'd that guy go? Oh, that's right. I kicked him out. Ooh. Well, mark my words, Russia and Japan will never fight again. Yes, sir. Mr. President, you've been re-elected for a second term. Also, here's a Nobel Peace Prize for that primo Russian-Japanese stuff. Hey, that's pretty great. Hold that, will ya? Mm. Oh, I just thought of a great idea. Okay. All currency should be coins. What do you think? Mr. President, we fucked up, and now the economy is about to collapse. What? What happened? Uh, this whole thing with copper, and then, uh, oh, well, it's boring. But anyway, long story short, it was an easily avoidable sequence of events caused by greed and a lack of banking regulation. So if you could fix it, that would be great. Banker suck! Hey, fuck you! We shouldn't have allowed banks to have this much power in the first place. Reestablish a federal bank! Bust the trust! Boom! There, but doesn't help us now. All right, I'm just trying to. Hey, it is us, legendary Richmond J.P. Morgan and John D. Rockefeller, here to save the day with our extraordinary wealth. I love bankers. That's right, you do. We'll use our own money to help save the banks if you, President Roosevelt, help us out by totally ignoring your own rules about monopolies. You know. Just for a little bit. Just this bit. All right, well, just this once, but then you'll totally support our antitrust deal, right? Oh, yes, yes, course, yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. Definitely, 100%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, we want Taft to be president now mm -hmm. uh, because he won't interfere with our businesses, and that's what we like as Republicans now. Bye-bye. <laughs> what? Ha-ha, <laughs> those are the Republicans I know. Whatever. I don't need you guys. I'm gonna go hunt rare animals in Africa. Suck a dick, Taft. <laughs> uh, first order of business, I'm going to need a, a, a larger bathtub. <laughs> uh, you'll probably have to make one because I'm larger than life. <laughs> uh, uh, second, I'm I'm going to need a porterhouse steak. No, no, two. Uh, there were three porterhouse steaks every morning for breakfast. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot of yeah, steaks, yeah, sir. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mark my words, you are going to regret not regulating Wall Street! <gasps> oh. ha, you think a bullet can stop me? Nice try, pussies! Teddy!